Now? Yeah. Oh, great, now, brilliant. Um, <laughs> wow, what a moment that was. I mean, that was a proper X Factor moment that we haven't had something like that since FAB, Fagash, Breath, uh, Talisa, Gate. Uh, Ryland just said he couldn't play Gary Barlow uh, because Gary Barlow was too fat. We do, interestingly, have a perfume, I believe, uh, released, uh, and perhaps we'll have to do some kind of liposuction product now uh, for uh, Gary Barlow. Shocking moment. Uh, fattest comment there. Some people might say, no, Ryland, you can't play Gary Barlow because you're too orange. Uh, but uh, with me now is Syrian Bowler MP. Uh, Syrian, uh, a startling moment there in the X Factor. Is there any place for that sort of behaviour, that kind of... No, no, absolutely not. That sort of behaviour should be restricted to the House of Commons. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. A very good point. Extremely well made. Uh, have you ever... I mean, you're in the well, public eye. Saw... Do you ever get subjected to taunting? No, and... I, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe what I saw. I saw a man who was quite clearly vain, unaware of how much he was hated, and was boasting about being unable to do the job for which people kept voting for him. I couldn't approve more. Very good <laughs> point. Um, now, uh, we'll come back to you in a moment, if mm. that's all right, Syrian, uh, because yes. we want to get your, your take on sort of the whole process in general. Uh, but we have been running our caption competition, uh, and you have been entering. Thank you very much. Send your best caption uh, to at Yap Factor uh, if you want to see uh, the picture, perhaps a little bit more clear. It's a little bit murky there. But um, if, if you'd like to enter, we would love uh, to see what you've got to say. Uh, so here's the picture, and we've had an entry here uh, from Ben. Ben says, uh, if we slide it to the edge, I think we can break the seal. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know if I understand that. I, I hope I don't, because if I do, I'm very disturbed. Uh, we've got had another one in. Uh, here's one from uh, the WWE B. I don't know what that means. It's probably the West Wales Electric Board. Uh, in an ITV2 <laughs> exclusive, Nicole explains how she landed the job. I, again, I hope I don't understand that either, because again, that would be sickening, and it's, it's pre-watershed. It always happens. We always have something at eight fifty-eight generally. Uh, although I think the time is out this week. Uh, and uh, also for this picture, uh, Val, <coughs> Val Jazzle, uh, at Grand Next Door. <laughs> I think this just might be a spoof account. Do you? Uh, says uh, this is why I'm turning straight. Excellent. Thank you very much for those. Um, I think, you know, there's there's still a chance you could win. We won't announce the, uh, the winner of this till the end of the show. Uh, so if you'd like to send your caption, if you think you could do better, at Yap Factor for that. Uh, also, I think if there is a chance that any of those win, that is an indictment of the whole process. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't agree more, uh, Sirian. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, we've had a few tweets uh, come through. Thank you very much. Uh, Jesus F. Christ. Uh, at Neuroskeptic. Now, that's obviously a great political joke. Uh, yes. I'm sure. I, I actually, that's Nigel Farage's account. <laughs> oh, is it? There you go. That's a bit of an exclusive for you. Rila Ryland looks like a juvenile scrawled a beard onto a cardboard cutout of KD Lang. Very much like his appearance on Question Time. Was it this week or, or last week? Uh, Ryland's. <laughs> <laughs> Ryland, Ryland on question time he didn't do well no. he didn't do it at all well uh, Wynn has got in touch thanks Wynn bit of a regular for us uh, he says is that Ryland I thought I was watching Sir Valen from Blake 7 I don't know so I thought that was Sir from Valen. I thought it was from The Apprentice uh, so, <laughs> I, I'm sorry I'm not being cute I'm not being cute I, I genuinely so I don't know about these things <laughs> What sort of television do you watch then? Because you obviously don't watch reality uh, TV. I don't. I just tend to hire poor people to dance whilst, <laughs> whilst I hum. Very good. And, and effectively, the X Factor is it's, it's like a 12 week long hustings, really. I mean, it's, it's, it is effectively an election. The people mm. are voting. Perhaps it's more not people quite are voting. like an election because you count the votes in X Factor. Right, a good point. And more people perhaps are voting uh, for the X Factor. Uh, but what's, what's that process like for you? What, how was it getting elected? For it's really good. I mean, obviously, during the last campaign, uh, I lost my wife. Uh, but oh. then, you know, poker's a difficult game. If I didn't know the rules, I shouldn't have been playing. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think the important thing to remember about uh, elections is we've got a very good system in this country. We've got a system whereby once every five years, a minority of swing voters in marginal constituencies decide the government for everyone else. And it works perfectly. <laughs> well, as long as you're happy. Uh, that's all we have time for for this break. So Ian Bowler, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll be back. Cool. Um, hi. Uh, it's time for my favourite spot uh, now, which is the fan mail. Uh, all of the judges, of course, uh, every week, they get uh, thousands of... Uh, th we haven't been through their bins or anything like that. Uh, not for the purposes of the show. Um, I mean, I... Have a, anyway, uh, the point is uh, we've, we've harvested some of the people, the things that people have tweeted to them uh, in a public forum. Uh, so let's bring on, ladies and gentlemen, our very own Posty. Right. Hello, Posty. Look at him, always cheerful, always on time, yeah. and always reliable. Just like Plenty of always are. Thank you very much, sir. Do I need to <laughs> bloody hell? <laughs> Do I need to sign for this? 
Uh, no. no. Okay, we'll start with this. This is this is a post to Louis. Now I haven't seen any of these. Just 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 so you think, you know, you know, I just want you to understand. Uh, Dan, he says to Louis, um, I it's like listening to an ancient and bad NSYNC B side track. Uh, that's Dan there proving how rampantly heterosexual he is uh, in that photo, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Sri and Bowler, uh, fan of Dan's uh, uh, comment, then. I yes, don't I, I don't understand any of the words in it. I don't think I did either. <laughs> or the asterisk. There you go. Really uh, I am Drake's says. Uh, I hope you get sacked of the X Factor. You should have voted your groups of what makes you any different, and stop hating Chris. Well, I mean, I think. Eric Pickles sent that one. <laughs> yeah, I think so. His that is the kind of highly charged, uh, brilliantly commentary. cogent commentary that uh, you come to expect. Uh, and Rachel says, uh, looks like he's made of play doh. I just want to pull on his cheeks. Well, you certainly wouldn't be the first to do that, Rachel. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm absolutely staggered by the idea of... On his so, face, obviously. So that's a man, the one on the end. Which, what, where? The judge on the end. Yeah, that is a man. That is a man. <laughs> Uh, just barely. Uh, let's have a look at Nicole's uh, post bag. What's she got this week? Daniel Edlin, businessman on the phone. Look at him there. Courteous, professional and pleasant. <laughs> always. Uh, why not call now for a free quote? Uh, here's one. Daniel says, uh, hey, Nicole, you looking fine, tight dress, no lack of interest. I'm picking up my zest, doing what I do best. Yes, God bless you. The best. <laughs> my goodness. Who would have thought that this man turned out to be a gangster rapper? I had absolutely no idea when I embarked on that tweet, did you? <laughs> That's very strong. Uh, and Isabel, Isabella Ruse, uh, Nicole's going our souls, our souls. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> our souls I saw floating. They are quite buoyant, the delicate lines of the infinite. Perhaps some more cheeks to pull apart. Is that, is that the end of that tweet? The, the someone's... Lines of the inf- it's someone, actually just drifted off. I'm sure. I think her account was hacked. Should we do Gary next and save to Lisa for last? They all just say, fat, fat, fatty, fat, 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 fat. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> Shannon Rob Williams. Uh, Rob Mar- I don't understand any of this now. This is meaningless talk now. Uh, says, uh, sorry, if a 16-year-old hugs and doesn't let you go during the crowd walk on six deck, I better say sorry now. That's called a reverse Savile in the industry. <laughs> uh, of course, Sir Ian Savile is a wonderful magician. Uh, I don't know if you know him, but it's really good stuff. Uh, Norma Metcalf, moving on. Uh, you never see my tweets! <laughs> Why don't you phone me? I sent you all those things in those jiffy bags. Uh, but Chris Maloney, 77, has lots of times. No, you have 2.3 million followers, but been over a year now. Oh, Jesus Christ. How, uh, what does she, how good is her maths? How quickly do you reckon... She thinks Gary gets through tweets with 2.3 million followers. That's a good point. Uh, and she's signed it uh, hashtag Misty and hashtag Perhaps Play. Chris and hashtag only gets better because he's got more time on his hands. Could be. It <laughs> could be. But not for long. No. He's destined for great things, Chris Maloney. There's already uh, several uh, Croatian fairies very interested in signing him. Uh, Emily uh, <laughs> says, uh, can I have a Barlow hug? I've got a bad cold and I need that. Of course yeah. you can't. The professional singer wants to have a hug from someone with a cold who he's never met. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we haven't got done the poll. There's a lot we haven't got through. Psychic chicken we haven't done yet. Uh, and finally, let's have a quick look at uh, Talisa's bag. Uh, is a bow silver. Love you, please. You follow me. Uh, is she singing it? Do you think? No. I don't. I don't. I, don't, song. I mean, I don't know, but I, I'm guessing that picture is not really her. I'm imagining someone very, very sad and unhappy looking in their bedroom in Stockton, (laughs) not some tanned lady on a beach. Could be wrong, obviously. Let me know if I'm wrong, Isabeau. Don't believe you. Simply pleasure XXX at sex me up XXX. Who's sex me? Okay. Uh, How about (laughs) me and you go baboom sugar? That's the best kind of sugar. Uh, Well... (laughs) It's, it's Apart one for, from Demerara. I say, one for the diabetics there. Uh, vote Union J. Uh, pork scratchings, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Again, this is probably some kind of sex talk that we just don't know about anymore. It's the kids. Uh, we'll be back with more after this. It's the end of the show coming up. My goodness. Because people don't want to watch this, do they? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, but go live now. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. No, but we are live now. Yeah, no, I know we're live now. So go live. But that's what, well, you just turn the telly off. Speak. Yeah, I'm speaking. So people don't want to watch the oh, montages do today. Do they don't that? want to watch the montages today. Oh, just keep do you going. want to watch the montage? You didn't, did you? You've seen it already once. Wasn't that sort of 
more than enough. Uh, it's time to just clear up some uh, results uh, from some of your uh, to blend or not to blend polls. Uh, let's see how Ryland did. Uh, how did Ryland do in the vote? Uh, let's let's find out now. Uh, and I'll just I'll just fill uh, while we get that up. Oh, it's a total blend for Ryland. Total blend for Ryland. I'm a bit sad about that. I thought it was. Um, no, it was pretty crap. Uh, and uh, Chris, uh, how was that? How do we feel about Chris? Are we feeling good? No, again, <laughs> not moving that graphic. Is that the right? Okay, uh, total blend for Christopher. Uh, and uh, finally, Jermaine. Uh, was he Jamazing or was he just shit? Uh, let's have a look. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Jermaine there. Uh, more or less a blend for Jermaine. Gosh, that's a bit sad. Uh, not feeling so charitable now, children in need, though, right? Uh, so, um, Syrian Bowler is here. Syrian Bowler. Uh, Evening. Did you enjoy Jermaine's performance? Uh, I didn't think it was Jermaine. I personally <laughs> was uh, jambivalent about it. <laughs> okay. okay. I, think, I think that's going to get quite old. I think he's going to get quite upset with that when, if he's in, say, a traffic accident and the doctor comes in and says, Mr. Douglas, yeah. I'm very sorry, we are going to have to amputate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. Of course, I'm using then. This time next week, we will, of course, be working in Jazda. Yeah. So, um, uh, Talisa, she liked it very much. Talisa said, I'm, I'm running out of ways to kiss uh, your butt. And if you are running out of ways to kiss someone's butt, then you're not thinking hard enough, Talisa. That's true. What do we pay you for? Uh, so, uh, we've, we've, answer that. We, uh, we, we have a, a winner of our bingo for this week who actually wins an actual prize. Uh, should we do that now? Uh, this is the, uh, the bingo winner. It's uh, Dan Ashford. Now you know who to burgle. Uh, Dan Ashford there. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Our, I don't, our printer's not working this week. I've been slightly hobbled there. But there is, I think, a photo of a screen grab of a drawing of your winning bingo card. Uh, congratulations to you. The fastest one in. You need to let us know uh, via DM. We'll follow you uh, and tell us what you want a photo of. Because it's so hard to choose. I mean, it really is Sophie's choice. Uh, but 50% harder. Because you have to choose between a signed photo of JLS... Uh, a signed photo of Jedward. Are you a fan of Jedward? I have no idea what those words are. Fine. Uh, or a signed photo of One Direction. Uh, and they've, you can see they, they've copied the letters beautifully on that one. Um, so let us know which of those you want. Congratulations, you are a winner. Uh, just for fun. We had our caption competition earlier on. This was uh, the picture, again, done in crayon because the printer's not really working too well. I like this little stripe here. That's always a little nice telltale uh, bit of... Shake the toner cartridge or something. Who won the caption competition? Did we have a, a winner? It's on there! Yeah. All right, God! <laughs> Honestly, no respect. Uh, that yap will never get me in the blender now. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Heather. That's lovely. <laughs> That's very nice. Uh, very nice indeed. Uh, I mean, throughout the whole show, I haven't actually been able to tell what, what the picture was of. Uh, but I'm sure it's a very funny <laughs> caption. <laughs> I did extremely well. But thank you, Heather, for that. You win nothing, uh, but you do have a, a pathetic, really quite pathetic gratitude now. Uh, Zoe says, uh, Saturday nights on a house won't be the same when the series is over. Please never leave. Zoe, the way this show is going, we'll just come round to your house and do it. <laughs> it will actually save us quite a bit of money and time and effort. Um, join us next week for Yap Factor. Uh, it's been a delight to have your company. Sir Ian, do you have any uh, closing thoughts? Will you be watching next week? No. <laughs> right. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's always nice to, to get it straight from an MP for a change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Twice in a row. What are the chances of that? Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay with us. Follow at Yap Factor on Twitter because we keep the stuff rolling out across the week. Uh, uh, tell your friends and hurry back. Thanks for watching. Good night. Yay! Yay!